are you today? Paul Jackson Jr. here once again for the incomparable people at Exotic Pedals and Guitars. And when I say incomparable, these guys, they never stop making great stuff. So I never stop <laughs> doing videos because this stuff is great. So today we're gonna talk about the Soul Driven pedal. And you ask, why do I need one? Well, see, and that, that's my whole thing is, why do I use one, but why do I think you need one, okay? The point is, is that what you wanna have in your arsenal, in your bag of tricks, there are different areas, if you will, of distortion or overdrive or, or whatever you, you, know, you choose to, to call it. There's the, if you will, the, the, the Marshall Plexi vibe, the, the D vibe, if you know what I'm talking about. They're different ones, you know. Maybe the, the, you know, you're going for the, the Steve Ray Vaughan vibe or whatever. But so they're different areas where you want to, um, you know, have covered. Well, that's what I like about the Soul Driven. Now, it's not necessarily trying to be any of those. It's just a great sounding overdrive pedal. So how that fits into what you do, you can find out. But the cool thing that I like about it, it's got a lot of tone variation. Obviously, it's got, you know, uh, gain and volume, which everything has. It's got a tone control. It also has a mid boost. So let's say, you know, you're rolling in the highs or rolling out the highs. You say, this is great, but I really like a little bit more mids, you know, to fill out the middle of it. Well, you can do that on this pedal, which is cool. The added bonus is you can open up the back and it has some dip switches in it. So let's say you're rolling up the tone and you feel like you're losing a little, a little bit of the bass. Well, you can actually add that in with one of the dip switches. So very, very versatile pedal. mine not super super high gain wise I run the gain about in general I start with my gain about 10 10 30 just because for me I kind of like it you know for me and this is for me kind of like that amp break up you know turn it turn the mids up you know uh, if you will you know, late 70s, early early 80s distortion. You know, but that's for me, and that's kind of where I start solo-wise. But you've got tons more gain on tap. Okay, let's just crank it, for instance, to yeah, about 130, you know? A lot more smooth gain, you know, almost like the violin. Thing. But it never gets brittle or harsh, which is what I like about it. So, you know, like I said, you kind of have to go in and find where that fits for you. But the cool thing is there's a lot of tonal variation. Okay, so we have, this, for instance, okay, I have the, the mids cranked about 2 o'clock. Let me, let me pull some of the mids out. Put the mids on 10. Put the tone on 12 o'clock and see what we got. You know. Try the front pick a minute. A lot of places to go with this pedal and you can find your sweet spot not necessarily mine but your sweet spot with all the tonal variations okay now I'm crank the mids back I'm gonna go back to where I kind of live here You know, very responsive, but not not a lot of drive there. But like I said, mine right now is ah, it's on uh, it's on high noon, but you've got lots more gain on tap. You know, lot lot of tonal variations. 
So I really, really, really love this pedal. Uh, the exotic, soul-driven pedal. Like I said, it's not trying to be the Plexi vibe, it's not trying to be the D vibe, it's trying to be its own vibe. And it's a great sounding pedal that you can implement and put into your skill set, put into your arsenal, and really make it your sound and what works for you. And that's why I like it.